What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel because it's just another manic Monday on a Thursday. Um, anywho, I am Groot. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be going over something I have not done yet. I am going to go through an Oracle card deck. Oracle cards or pocket edition. I got this in my uh, Goddess Provision box. If you've all seen that uh, lovely little blonde moment. Uh, <laughs> video. <laughs> I've never really done an oracle card walkthrough or flip through because everyone's is kind of different. So you actually have to kind of read the book to understand it. I've not opened this yet. So I'm going to open this on screen and we're going to walk through it today. Maybe walk through more than likely a flip through. I will talk about it. Um, but yeah, I got this in my goddess provision box i thought it was kind of cool because i was like what an oracle deck that's that's some bougie shit right there some bougie shit to give me an oracle deck it's a 56 card deck it's called beyond lemuria oracle cards by izzy ivy and i've actually seen a few people get this and i'm wondering if they were gifted it to friends because they don't do oracle cards so i'm like re-gifting something no judgment and no comment um, so it does not come with a, what is that? Oh, I'm pretty. There's a tissue paper in here. Ooh, it's an intention paper. You write on it something on it and burn it in the fire. Cast your spells now, which is, um, let's undo this. Anywho, there is a card on the very back. Oh, they have writings on the back of them. Okay. Um, there are some... How to use these cards. So it does say... Tell you how to use these cards. Uh, it says, Bridging heaven and earth starts within us. We must tend to the garden inside ourselves before we can heal that which is outside of us. It is time to honor our own little piece of Eden. Eden. Look at me. I'm all wretched. Eden. Eden. Um, we can do this by becoming consciously aware of our actions, intentions, and shadows. You can use this deck the same way you would use any Oracle deck. The 56 cards are divided into three categories. Oh, just like mine. Be on the lookout for my new uh, Oracle card deck. There are three sections in it now, and it is now live. The Five Points Oracle deck 2.0, if you want to get your copy. Um... You can use this deck the same way, 56 cards and divide it into three categories. There are 10 chakra cards for working with the energy of your with the energy of your energy field, seven elemental cards for working with the energy in one's environment, and 39 seed cards for in-depth reflection and divination. Ask a question and choose a single card. Allow the image and text to lead your contemplation and allow the meaning to step forward gracefully for extra insight. Use a three card spread and a question as you select each card. Um, for example, for a message for today, card one, what should I be aware of? Card two, what can I grow from? Card three, where should I put my energy? To absorb the energy, colors, and symbols, of a card, place it on your body and hold the image in your mind's eye during meditation. Visualize the colors washing over and through your chakras. Breathe and allow transformation to occur. That is interesting. Uh, okay, so let's do a walkthrough of this. We have our first one, which is Earth Star Chakra. And this is Initiation. Uh, there's a lot on here, so I'm not going to read through it. So I'm just going to tell you what the card is and what it says. So that is a Earth Star Chakra. This is the Root Chakra. Ground and center. Uh, we have Sacral Chakra. Core of Creation. Uh, solar Plexus Chakra. Radiant Illumination. These are cool, so I do like meditation. Uh, heart chakra, and heart chakra is my favorite because my favorite color is green, but that is not my chakra. My chakra is the root chakra. Um, unfurling back to, so the heart chakra is unfurling back to love, but back to the root chakra, that is my chakra, um, my actual chakra. 
Um, high heart chakra. S. Oof. Ecstatic bliss. I swear I know how to read. I swear I do. Um, then we have the throat chakra. I like this one. It's pretty. Uh, express your truth. Uh, third eye chakra. Uh, pineal perspective. Crown chakra. The unlimited self. Uh, then we have soul star chakra which is merging with the divine. Uh, Aether, which is the seamless unspeakable. Uh, water, the overflow. And that is actually, I think, on the front. No, that is a different one. JK, just kidding. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Um, air, which is the paradigm shift. Earth, which is nurture nature. I love the psychology aspect of that. Um, a fire, which is the Solaris Sublime. Uh, loving compassion. I think we're now into those 30 something odd cards. Uh, awakened awareness. Uh, alignment. And some people do use oracle cards within their tarot reading, so you can do, like, many different things with oracle cards while you're tarot reading. I know some of you know that, but some of you that don't know that, you can actually uh, spread, do, like, maybe, a, like, a power card for an oracle card and have that be, like, your center. You can also do that with tarot cards. I mean, let's say... Uh, I want to do fo focus the tarot spread around me. I would choose the devil card because that's my card. Um, and then do a reading from there. You can do the same thing with oracle cards. Uh, you can incorporate them into your actual tarot reads too. So like let's say you were doing, uh, I don't know, think of a spread. You can incorporate somehow that into that. So even if you do the, uh, what are the OG ancient 10 cards? Da -da -da -da. A little blah, I can speak today, I swear I can. The ancient 10 card tarot spread. You can do the first six as tarot and you can do the four, last four as like an oracle kind, kind of thing. Your tarot is how you do it. Your rules, your rules. How you speak to your divine entities and your deities and people who are helping you, whether it be heritage or gods and goddesses or great spirit or something of that nature. It's your rules. On to this again. Sorry. I got sidetracked. Balanced forces. Uh, beyond the mind. Very psychology right there too. I like that. Um, communication co-creation. Crystal keys. I do love the artwork behind this though too. It's very kind of cool. It's kind of got like kind of like weird alien mermaid kind of vibe to it. Endless opportunities is this card. Uh, evolution. Mermaids. Dragonfly. Freedom. Oh, mother fudger. <sighs> I keep dropping cards. Anyways, that is the full spectrum. I kind of just like totally got that in my mind, full spectrum. <laughs> if you do therapy, that would make you chuckle too. Um, <laughs> furred and feathered friends. Uh, gracious receptivity. Uh, harmonic flight. Uh, I say a lot, sorry, healing. Home, where I am now. Uh, internal explorer. Journey to wholeness. I actually really like this card. It's very colorful, very vibrant, very like, what does it say? Love from a sense of wholeness. Yeah, it's a very lovey card. Okay, I like that. I could dig it. I can get down on that. I could do that. I could dig it. I could dig it. Um, this is life force energy. 
Most of these cards are very cool. I'm like, I'm not finding the ones I don't like. I am finding some that I like more. Lumen Essence. Uh, Manifestia. Mount Shasta. It kind of makes me want one of those colas. What are they? Were they were Shasta colas, I think they were called. Just for fun, because you know, sometimes it's fun to like have like non-generic brand. Well, it is a brand, but it's not Coca-Cola. Anyways, new blueprints. Oh, that's interesting. Powerful meaningful change starts with you today. Wonder if that was a reason that caught my eye. Um our ancient future. Oh my god, look. It's the never ending story. Radical expansion. Well that's what the card is called. Radical expansion. Um Realm Bridger. Reclaim your energy. She of the Lotus. Shine at your light. Shine bright like a diamond. Uh, Star Seed Elemental. That's fun. Star Seer. Stepping through. I thought it was sleeping at first, but then I saw that little dash into the uh, non-capitalized T. Undercased. Surrender. Just surrender. That is totally like the hangman. Trusting that we can achieve more by loosening control. Ooh, hangman vibes. What's up, y'all? Now we have the infinite. Oh, it's a kitty cat. The portal keeper. The sound of the universe. Oh, jeez. Okay, no. Sorry. The violet flame. Uh, transformation. Trust your inner sense. Uh, unique gifts. And finally, vulnerability. So this is an interesting deck. Um, I could see myself using it uh, and putting it into like tarot spreads. Uh, it's fun. I don't really, I don't work hardcore with Oracle uh, decks. I only kind of work with mine because I get it and I don't have to read into it. I just know what it is. And I think that's why I made my Oracle deck. Uh, but this one it seems fun too as well because it just it doesn't come with a booklet, but that's really awesome that the backside tells you what the card means. So you could pull a card and be like, boom, that's what that means. When I usually do that though, so I'll like when I shuffle my cards, let's take these two nuisance cards out. Those always get on my nerve. Wait, Earth Star Chakra. Wait, where's the other one? Okay, never mind. Just kidding. I can get them all out. I'll like. I will like shuffle them and be like real quick, put those together. Let's just say I'm shuffling. And uh, I will make sure that I lay them this way up, not this way up, because then I get to be surprised by the artwork and really feel the artwork first. This is what I do. So when I like go to shuffle these cards, I'll make sure that I, I, usually, I usually do it two or three times unless something's telling me to do it more. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave them up there. I'll break it. Uh, and then I'll pull like three. I'll be like, one, two, three. I didn't really say anything, but I got these three cards. I'll feel the energy from them. Well, let's go this way. Oh, geez. I swear I know how to do this. There we go. I got these three. So I'd feel the energy from them. I'd be like, get the vibe. Get a very kind of like free, open your mind kind of vibe from these. But then again, I also got crown chakra, third eye chakra, and throat chakra. So... That makes sense why I would see it that way. <laughs> Opening my mind. Anyways, that's what I do. Uh, uh, comment below. Tell me what you do when you like do uh, kind of spread if they have words on the back. Uh, if you like this deck, I will put a link to where I can find 
where you can buy this deck. I got it in a Goddess Provision box, but I do like it. Uh, but also, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in.